Alert for tomorrow afternoon and evening. We have some strong storms we could be dealing with. Certainly could impact outdoor activities and travel. So first alert for not only Monday, but also Wednesday, too. We'll get to that in just a bit. Let's show you what's happening this morning. Uh, passing clouds on first alert future cast and uh, brighter sunshine into the afternoon. Late day, a spot shower or storm. There's 9 o'clock. So again, we go through most of the day with no worries for passing rain but can rule out somewhere in the state getting a brief one. All right, Monday morning we start off with some passing clouds and then it's like clockwork past 11 o'clock. We'll start to see those clouds growing even bigger and then forming into showers and storms. And some of those storms could pack a punch as they move through. We have a level one risk across a large portion of New England. And it's for storms capable of producing damaging wind gusts, even some hail. Of course, we can't forget about the heavy rainfall, dropping visibility, and lightning. So this is all going to be happening during the afternoon and evening hours and could certainly impact travel and outdoor plants. All right, Waterbury right now, we have a thin layer of uh, clouds. Otherwise, some sunshine filtering through at times, 60 degrees there. Here's that batch of uh, cloud cover moving across the state, but we're keeping it dry this morning. We've even seen a little bit of patchy fog in the valley locations. Weather watchers reporting some 50s and some 60s this morning. Still hanging on to 59 in Meriden, 57 Willimantic, 58 in Norwich, for example. And the, the temperature is going to climb into the 80s as we head into this afternoon. So from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., Myself, Scott Gagliardi, and the weather tracker will be in Portland at the fairgrounds. There is the event, the 14th annual Touch a Truck. So we will have, yes, the weather tracker there to come check out from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. $5 can go a long way. Honor Bound Foundation. All the proceeds go to. Fair forecast, Terryville, Brooklyn, Chester, all looking the same pretty much with some clouds to start, warming into the 70s, mid 80s this afternoon to low 80s. And then this evening, we'll monitor for a spot shower, but that's it. All right, here's a look at the forecast high temperatures 87 Hartford versus a 82 in Chester. Our second first alert of the week is with this cold front that's going to cause showers and storms to develop, and there's even a risk for excessive rainfall. So giving you that first alert, we'll be monitoring basically those two days. Now, once that front passes through on Wednesday night into early Thursday morning, look what happens with our dew points. So they briefly Bike, very humid Wednesday, crashing into that very comfortable range as we close out the week. So feeling better, not much, much nicer outdoor conditions. Uh, a few showers, unfortunately, have that part of the forecast for next Saturday. But we'll worry about that when we get a little closer. Maybe uh, that part of the forecast will change in our favor. But here you go. Here's the last like week of August. Can you believe it? First alert Monday and Wednesday. We'll keep you posted on that.